All right, today we're gonna program a Sanfi motor to the Sanfi remote. I have the 16 channel remote here. Uh, so I first step is to get on the desired channel. So we number our screens left to right. So this is one, and I'm gonna show you how to program screen number two. So I've got uh, channel number two selected on my remote. Now I'm going to connect the screen to power this one is not plugged in, these are hardwired, so I'm connecting it to its Wago power connector. And now on that desired channel, I hold up and down simultaneously. The screen jogged, it's now paired with this channel. The next step is going to be to check the direction. So I'm touching down and the shade is incrementally moving down, so that's correct. If the shade moves the opposite direction of what you want, you'll just hold the my button, the shade will jog, and you've now flipped the direction. So I'm going to set the upper limit first, and on this recess screen, I want the shade recessed when it's up and hidden. So I've got it, I click the shade to where I want, and I will set the upper limit by holding the my button and the down button at the same time. And now the shade, the upper limit has been set. The shade will start running down so that you can set the lower limit. So you're gonna allow it to get lower to where it needs to be. And then once it gets close, I'll start incrementally moving it to the desired location. It's traveling down. All right, now we're going to incrementally click it down to where I want it to go. Ideally on the lower limit, you don't have any light gap on the bottom, but it depends a little bit on what the patio looks like that you're working with. So I like it right there. So you're gonna do the opposite of the upper limit. You'll hold the my button and the up button to set the lower limit. The my button on the Sanfi motor when you're doing the limit serves as showing you where the limit is. So to set the lower limit, you're holding up and down. Uh, you're holding up and my, I mean, to say the my is where it stops. And if you're doing the upper limit, you hold the my and down. Um, it's the opposite of the Duya motor system. So now I've let it kind of run up. It knows the upper and lower limit. I will hold the my button until the shade jogs. It jogs. And now I use a small tool. In this case, I'm using a small drill bit to press the program button on the back and that locks in the program. So now if I hit up, it takes itself to the desired upper limit, the shade is programmed.